this is for those that would like a more in-depth read into um, the existing general messages. Now I will be starting off with fire signs. Sorry, I've just had a blink. I will be starting off with fire signs. So Aries, Sagittarius and Leo that are dealing with one of those signs. These messages may be applicable for you. Okay, four of swords, the death card, ten of pentacles and the justice card. Okay, so look, what sticks out most prominently is the death card with the four of swords. There can be an ending of some kind taking place here with the death card. There can be the ending of a relationship and the walking away of a relationship, as I said. Um, look, I feel it's more putting an end to something than rather ending the relationship per se. So I feel like you something of the relationship, maybe the toxicness or toxic behavior, attitudes, thoughts, emotions of the relationship are falling away. I feel it's more to do with laying something to rest here. It could be the past, it could be past transgressions with the seven of swords. This can indicate deceit, obstacles and transgressions. So it could be putting the past behind you, especially if you are dealing with fire signs. I feel like you're finally restoring balance to where there was previously imbalance because the justice card is a card of karma it is a card of reinforcing balance um, straightforwardness honesty openness vulnerability integrity so i feel like you're coming out with all these emotions um, i feel like i think a negative or a cycle of your relationship that no longer had the best interest of a relationship is falling away. So I really feel you're clearing the negativity with the Four of Swords and the Death card here. The Death card is a massive transition. So there's a change that's taking place. And I really feel, feel it has a lot to do with communication, with the Swords, your mentality, your way of thinking, um, with the Four of Swords here. I feel it's laying it to rest, putting all the negativity behind you because as much as I spoke about fairness, you also have a family card with the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a card of reconciliation. This is a card of togetherness, of celebration, um, legacies, commemorating a relationship, commemorating a union of some kind here. So I like that this is present here. For some, I feel like there's legalities around your relationship here with the Justice card. Um, there's what looks like a church building with the church stained glass windows figuring the saints in the corner here. I also feel like um, for some of you that there's a priest involved here as well and children. So for some, there's definitely a marriage or an engagement that's coming, that's coming in around you. So if I feel like you're putting to rest an old way of life. So if this is singledom or if this is status as a I guess in a de facto, I feel like you might be stepping away from that and coming into something that involves a priest to bless your union. For example, an engagement, a marriage, a commitment ceremony, but something that's going to be in the physical realm here as indicated by the pentacles, a physical legality that's going to enter into your partnership. It could very well be that a higher power uh, or someone that is invested uh, with a higher power for those that are religious. So, for example, a priest is inundated with these powers that can um, bless you to enter into the sanctity of marriage. So, for a lot of you, it's that. There's children here. Um, some of you are planning children because with death comes life and with life is fertility. It's planting the seed. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like <clears throat> there might be a change in the living situation. Um, in a family business, maybe you might be starting a business with your significant other. This is also possible. Travel is also coming up with the Four of Swords. What's interesting though is there's a tomb effigy here and um, what looks like a skeleton in the form of a grim reaper or sort of like a messenger that's coming into this priest and this person laying down here. So I feel like there could be a bit of spirituality that might come into play in your relationships because you see this figure here and he's sort of, um, maybe he's passed or maybe he's entering a period of solitude or spirituality, much like the tomb effigy here. But death could be, um, and this notion of death, major endings and major beginnings could be significant for your relationship. 
as well as you have a family card, there might be a loss around someone. It could be a loss of a job. It could be around you or your significant other. It could be the loss of a job. It could be the loss of a person, of a parent, of a friend, of a work colleague. There's, there's a notion of something coming to a major ending here. So you may hear of this over the next three months and it may very involve a lot of money linked up to an inheritance of some kind as well. This could be tied into the relationship. There could be family that might be funding your relationship somehow. So maybe putting a down payment on an apartment or helping you financially with money or helping you get set up if you are planning to have children. I feel like there's a benevolent energy coming from family, friends, possibly extended family as well, that's going to help you. Um, and as I said, it's a karmic, a very strong karmic connection with this person. Something a little bit higher is happening here with a fire sign. So something more metaphysical, perhaps a little bit different than you're used to, but I think it's very much, you're very much into this person. And for some, I feel like a fire sign that you're with could very well be the person you're with until the rest of your life or the end of your days, so to speak. And you really will be living out those twilight years because we can see this elderly gentleman sitting here as well, along with the age of the priest that signifies twilight years or old age or wisdom in relationships as well, which is quite nice. I feel like some of you definitely have a destined life partner that will be there for, um, for a very, very long time for you. But that was fire signs. Let's now move on and have a look at water signs. <clears throat> Okay, the world. Wow, nine of cups, lovers. Okay, wow. So for those that are dealing with fellow water signs, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at these cards, the world, the nine of cups, the lovers, the high priestess. This is fate. This is twin flame. This is soulmate material. There's someone in your life that can make you very, very happy, that can fulfill all your desires, all your wishes, all your hopes, all your dreams, they can be someone or they probably are someone. Maybe you're yet to see it yet because the unveil has to be lifted, but they're definitely someone that can um, tick a lot of boxes for you and be the person you want them to be um, in your life. They can be your rock. They can be your guide. They could be your advisor. They can be um, someone you nurture. They can be someone whom you want them to be. I feel like this is someone that can really fulfill all your wishes. Look, there's definitely true love that's happening for some of you. There's definitely a conversation that's going to center around children and pregnancies and commitments as well. I almost feel like you'll be given a blessing for those of you that are looking to, to relocate, to start your own family, um, looking to achieve the goals that you share with this person in your relationships. I feel like this is coming up really strong that you'll have people's blessings behind you, that you'll have, you'll be in your own little world, as I mentioned in the general reading, but you'll have people's blessings. This is in-laws, this is friends, families, supporting your relationship. And I feel like the world is your oyster. You really have the world in your hands. And the two of you can be very powerful together. I feel like you really bring out the best in each other. And you're really at your best when you're with this other person. You're, they're totally a team player, vice versa. There's so much compatibility here with the world card. Um, and as I said, there could be this notion of engagements. It is what looks like a round wreath. So it can be, it can symbolize a ring, a ring of engagement, um, especially with the high priestess. He major, major changes, prophecies are taking place for you in your relationships. This can also be travel for some of you. You uncover how much you really feel about someone over travels. You travel or relocate together. You start an online business together. There's the notion of a very um, of you being a power couple with this person. The two of you sort of conquering the world somehow. So I'm not sure if you're both just really going to be in your power over the course of the next three months. But there's this possibility that you can absolutely create yourself a new dynamic in the relationship. Be extremely happy with how this person is towards you, how they treat you, how they respect you, how they hold you so dear and so important to them. And it's almost like they're your world and you're theirs. So there's definitely this notion of someone has got you under their spell or you have them under your spell. But I really feel there's a lot of wish fulfillment and 
potentially a very bright future for the two of you with the world card. The world card can speak of creation much like the high priestess which can be indicative of children, um, of birth or planting a seed. So as I said whether it's an online business, whether it's conceiving a child, whether it's as I said, welcoming a new addition to the family, whether it's your own child, a grandchild, a new addition to the family, there's a creation of a new world. And I feel like there's something that will occur over these next three months that will bring you even closer to this person. I think much closer than you've ever been. You'll feel even more linked to them. And with the Nine of Cups, this just reiterates it's a dream come true. It's a dream relationship. Everything will, will pan out very smoothly. I definitely feel you're not the couple that's experiencing some of these obstacles, although some of you may be. But I feel the ones, for, for the most part, I feel like there's a lot of greatness um, and chemistry, sexuality with the Lover's Card, um, Finding that spark again, becoming more intimate. Maybe you haven't been able to prioritize your relationship, but over the next three months, there's definitely a wonderful merging of thoughts, merging of opinions. There's a lot of compatibility between the two of you. You will just see eye to eye. Everything will flow and everything will align very, very nicely, especially in terms of decision making, family, um, anything that affects your relationship, I feel like anything the both of you touch will just turn to gold. That's how I feel. It's a very beautiful energy. And also with the High Priestess, major announcements, additions to the family, heightened spirituality, feeling really connected with each other. I also feel like for some of you, you might be consulting if you have if you have been married or you have been coupled up and maybe the relationship hasn't going hasn't been going the direction you would like it to. You might be seeking the help and the high priestess is often someone very wise and someone very specialized in her field so regardless if it's a male or a female this person could be um, a professional a marriage counselor a couples counselor couples therapy um, this person could be based online they could be foreign and you may be consulting them and I really feel it's going to help you I feel it's going to bring the two of you together certain things might surface in the relationship emotions thoughts past transgressions but I think ultimately there's a blessing that's it's there's a reason why this person has shown up in in your life and I think if you are trying to consult someone this person can really bring about your happiness and really make you see how special this person is that's with you and how much they're willing to sacrifice to make you happy and vice versa so that's absolutely beautiful Let's have a look at fire, uh, excuse me, let's have a look at earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Okay, the magician, Wheel of Fortune, very nice, the full card. And the Four of Cups. Okay, some of you have to really take a chance with a earth sign there is foolish behavior around an earth sign as i mentioned there's a capricorn maybe manipulative energy coming from an earth sign it could be you that's doing the manipulating or it could be them but there's something that doesn't sit well for some of you um, and it's this notion of foolish behavior or trying to build or force something that's just not working because I get this double manipulation with the devil card and although the magician for the most part is a very positive card of wonderful, magical and sudden manifestations, I also feel like the magician can represent manipulation because he is a tricky fellow, he can deceive us, he manipulates or changes the way we see things or hear things or um, register things because he is a bit of a trickster so there can be manipulation here coming from both sides, not just the one, it could also be coming from you. Um, for some of you or that you're trying to force a relationship or force too much commitment or maybe not enough commitment in this relationship and it in fact is not working cohesively together because the two of you are not on the same frequency right now. I think there's a cycle that needs to be broken with the Wheel of Fortune and I honestly do feel like it's an upward cycle that's coming in for you in the relationship which is positive. I feel like there's a breaking of cycles whether that's because someone will leave the relationship 
if you are dealing with an earth sign someone might walk away spend time away from the relationship or you don't want to be the fool anymore you've been giving yourself up to this person or maybe they've been demanding too much from you that you're not able to offer them right now and I think over the next three months there's definitely sort of a make or break energy with the wheel of fortune that this cycle is either beginning or it's coming to an end so the ending of relationships or the beginning of something more serious something more committed absolutely yes possibly engagement here with the wheel of fortune which can symbolize a ring I feel for some of you, especially with the infinity symbol here with the magician card, there's a cycle with this person that will last a very, very long time, possibly a whole lifetime or even thereafter. With the Wheel of Fortune, I also feel for some of you, there's definitely wonderful changes that are happening in the relationship. I feel there's new beginnings with the full card. You might be moving, relocating, traveling, starting an online business with your partner, starting a business of some kind, really embracing the energy but it is a card of new beginnings and taking a chance so for some I feel like there might be an ex earth sign coming back in um, as well wanting a second chance with you a second chance at love wanting to mend things and it'll come very suddenly you won't expect it because I see you it's almost like you, you haven't preempted this happening and it'll suddenly happen without you even noticing how so I think this this notion might be connected somehow with the Eight of Swords, lifting the veil, just going into something blinded, um, just blindly going into something that maybe you're not ready for. <clears throat> for some, I feel like there's really fated changes that are happening, but I think you've invited these changes, you've brought them in, you've You've allowed these changes to come into your existence because you've been trying to manifest them in some reason, in some way or another with the magician card. A lot of new starts. You have three ones, the fool, the wheel, the magician. Three starts here, three cups here and one another massive change happening that you're, that you're, you're not seeing yet, which may come after this three month period. <clears throat> growth definitely growth um, from foolishness or from immaturity is happening whether this is on your end or whether this is on their end I feel like the earth sign maybe feels foolish because you haven't been able to commit or vice versa for those that have been coupled up and been married I feel like you're taking a chance um, you're doing something a little bit different in hopes that it will break a negative cycle or break a cycle a, a negative cycle into something more positive perhaps for some of you. And illumination rules the four of cups. So learning something new. I feel like you need to embrace whatever it is that your partner or your significant other is telling you or doing towards you. I feel like you need to go into it with an open mind I think that's that's probably an important lesson for you. Let's have a look lastly at air signs now. With air signs because you did have a lot of air energy in the general read here. <clears throat> so I think there could be a bit of turbulence. Um, or news coming in from air sign some of you are definitely leaving an air sign behind there is this notion of walking away turning your back feeling defeated feeling like you can't get through to an air sign or an air sign can't get through to you with the five of swords and the hermit card some of you definitely need to take a break or need to take time away from an air sign again as I said it could be due to geographical reasons maybe this person has work maybe this person has to move away because there's other people involved in this situation it could be a third party um, you know there is deceit I did mention deceit with the seven of swords so that could be it but I feel there's definitely this notion of you're not getting through there's some sort of block um, 
there's definitely some some movement that's not allowed here or that can't progress forward right now so it's sort of left like you're picking up the pieces with an air sign so maybe there's been a confrontation maybe there's been some uncomfortable situations here lately or will be potentially over the next three months with an air sign and as a result you might be feeling like you're left picking up the pieces wondering how or why it went wrong or why they're acting the way they're acting and maybe I think it's because someone needs some time away. The Hermit does represent the sign of Virgo and this Virgo energy is a very analytical, is a very scrutinizing energy where I think reflection, withdrawal needs to happen and maybe this is what's required from you. Maybe you need to be the Hermit, maybe they need to be the Hermit but I think some time apart can definitely bring about a positive reconciliation or can bring about the ending of a relationship with an air sign because this person maybe isn't wanting marriage and future or something like this. Um, for others, I feel it's very positive. You are moving towards a wonderful partnership, relationship, marriage, engagements or union, passion, lust and sex with an air sign, which is beautiful. Um, a lot more vo vocalization about feelings and about passions and about direction of relationships, which is really positive. So marriage is coming up here, so engagements, marriage or any anniversaries or any other ceremonies that do commemorate your union or your bond, your relationship. For others, I feel like there might be a tra an overseas proposal or an overseas trip or travel of some kind here. Um, and a wonderful reconciliation, absolutely. For those that have been married for quite some time, I feel like you might be, um, you might feel really disconnected with your air sign partner and I'm sure you'd probably be used to this maybe this sort of behavior whether it's from you or from them but I think you, you've been exposed to it before you know how to deal with it and eventually the two of you will reconnect again so it's nothing to fret about I just think there's a lot of different interpretations but for air signs I am seeing there's an ending there's definitely a walking away because someone can't you know they're leaving their swords behind so they're leaving you with memories I'm sure no doubt but I feel like, and you're just picking up the pieces and you'll have to start again. But I see potentially that your relationship after this person could be one of marriage. If it's not a reconciliation with them that's happening directly, the two of you could reconcile and get married and, you know, have your happily ever after um, as well. For married couples, I feel like there's movement, um, whether it's with a business, the growth of a business, a family business, the expansion of a home, the relocation of a home or an investment property is coming up here. Also lots of celebrations, outings, dates um, that will rekindle that passion if you've lost it. You know, if you've been focusing on the kids or you just been focusing on work and you haven't been able to commit wholeheartedly to your partner, um, especially intimacy wise. I think this is changing for you over the next three months. Um, but there is this notion of solitude or taking time away. And I'm wondering if some of you do have an air sign partner that has to spend time away for a purpose, such as work, or you perhaps do. And this is why the two of you um, are undergoing this sort of change. But there is marriage, a destined marriage or marriage ceremony, or someone that's destined to be a marriage partner for you that is around you under an earth, under an air sign, excuse me, definitely so. That's very exciting. I hope these readings have been insightful for you. Thank you so much for all your viewership, your support, your comments. I really do appreciate all of it. Thank you so much for doing that. 